To begin, we're going to fasten our thread to our hook. Next, we're going to fasten on our dumbbell eyes. You can attach these pretty close to the hook eye because we're not going to be tying any materials in in front of them and you want the most amount of the shank available for the other materials. Now advance your thread back to the hook point. Next we're going to tie in a clump of flashaboo. Do this by center tying in a few strands off the rear of the hook. Now we're going to create our claws. Take one hackle from the pack and strip back the fibers once you've selected the length of your claw. Secure this to the hook while making sure the feather stays vertical up and down and doesn't twist. A couple of loose wraps and then a tight few. And we're ready for our next feather. Now just rinse and repeat on the other side. Next, we're going to be attaching our yarn and our rubber legs to create the body of the crap. We're going to start by center tying in our first piece of tan yarn. So you can see we're going to get it down. One, two, three, four. A couple more wraps, making sure it's nice and secure. And then spreading it out the way I want it to and figure eighting across very similar to dumbbell eyes to make sure the thread stays spread out and to keep the shape of the body of the crab. After you've attached your first part of yarn, we're going to attach our first set of rubber legs with a simple double overhand knot trying to cinch that down on top of the yarn. Then we're going to tie in our first blue strip of yarn and continue this pattern all the way up until the front of the hook, alternating tan blue legs, tan blue legs. Remember to trim the legs as you go.
Now for our final two steps, we're going to whip finish the fly in front of the dumbbell eyes. And then we're going to trim the legs and yarn to the length we desire. And there you go. You've got yourself a nifty little blue crab. Perfect for flats fishing all up and down the east coast.